I got Omar Gooden, Andrew Conwell, known as the Star Wars right here in this house. We're in the Star Wars household mm -hmm. at this moment. What's that in the black tree? What's good? I'm dressed like a black tree for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's not supposed to be that funny, but go ahead. It's great to be here on set with you guys. I, you know, this is like the third season I've been with you guys covering it, and it's good to see the show keep on going. How, how family now that y'all been together for these couple of seasons? How's how has that camaraderie grown among you guys? It just it feels more like a family. Each time you just get more comfortable and you get more comfortable, and you start to learn each other's rhythms. And I think Finish everybody sentences cut people off. Same thing. <laughs> Family. It's families too. <laughs> it's comfortable. I think you make some of your best work when you're when you're in a comfortable space and a comfortable atmosphere. So we're really blessed. Um, Finley Kyle Evans creates and produces the show, directs it, and it really sets the tone. And you know, it's just like it's just a good place to be. Bam, bam, bam. And Bentley's been doing this for a while, but people are starting to act like Black TV was just invented. Like the audience was just invented last year. And, but but how does it feel to see the recognition and the the all the momentum that's going towards these audiences right now. Right, right, right. I mean, we got a we got a ways to go, but we've we've definitely made some progress. You know, a lot yeah. of these black shows are booming, and they're getting back to uh, quality television. You know, I mean, it, I, don't, I don't keep hating on like reality TV and whatnot, but you know, the stereotypes that they choose to portray are not always the best. You know, so we're trying to show positive yeah. uh, black families doing some things like you know, we go out watching the Cosby Show, you know, and you know, watching these families that yeah, are you know, successful uh, couples raising a family and doing it the right way. Yeah. You never consider a reality show? No. No, no, I'm just kidding. They all like it. I don't know. calling him no more. Uh, no, yeah, sure. I mean, the right one. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I've sat down with some people and we talked about it. And I was just like, okay, that all sounds great. So I get final approval over everything else. And they're like, mm, we didn't say none of that. And I was like, no, mm -mm, not a chance. Not a chance. I know this show is universal to universal audiences, but you know, family is portrayed in different ways in different cultures. And we got some shows right now that's portraying modern family I'm not talking about the show modern family but they got some some different shows how do you feel about the portrayal of family that the Star Wars are given as opposed to what you see out there on some other channels hey you know I, I think we're keeping it real uh, I mean I'll watch some of these shows and I a couple of scenes I'll say oh okay cool and then I do something I'll be like uh-uh not in my house that wouldn't happen here we wouldn't get away with that you know so we try to keep it as, as authentic you know still funny you know we take real situations and then we make light of them you know we bring the humor to it so that people can deal with issues that we deal with and see how how we would deal with it, you know what I mean? Like uh, people not being able to communicate and families don't talk as much or uh, they get too caught up in the social, social media yeah. and stuff and texting, we're trying to have dinner, you know, that type of stuff. So we make a little bit light of it. We, we, we like to touch on real issues that are going on today and uh, show you how the Star Wars get down, you feel me? A little about this episode where that the audience will get to see uh, see some clips from. They have some guest appearances. Uh, how, 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 how did Michelle come off on camera? How was that? experience it's like a pro like she's been yeah. doing it for years oh, i've been has, working right? with her she has been doing it for years <laughs> i mean it's entertainment it's all pretty much intertwined you know she's doing a great job she's playing agent wilma finger do finger do finger. yes finger do yeah, yeah mm -hmm. an episode called air r&b and that's also what i love about our episodes it's very current up to date dealing with things that we normally deal with air r&b as you can probably see it has something to do with uh c connected yeah. to air b and b which is big right now we deal with a lot of the social media issues instagram and things of that nature but yeah it's it's, a, it's, it's all current and, yeah. and michelle she's from killing Destiny's it Child, she's, she's doing an awesome job she's killing it. Yeah. yeah so what can the fans look forward to this season that they haven't seen in the in the previous season. I know y'all staying current, but what's <laughs> what could they expect? You know, going into this season, what what are they looking for? Well, Tony's business is growing. My business is growing. Yes, he's uh, a successful uh, contractor. Tell you, we learned that it, that he has a family business that I took over from my father, and uh, now I'm running it, doing my thing. You know, uh, it's a lot of work for him. So uh, there's a new character. We we hire a, a secretary, okay. who. Um, is uh she's, she looks good let's just put it that way you she's know an so that, she's an attractive woman. woman yeah yeah kj so, smith right right so uh I'm pretty sure yeah exactly at least handling it she's handling it she's handling, she's handling it. like a classy woman mm -hmm. like a classy woman who's right. you know <laughs> got to make sure she calls the shots okay. and right. as a matter of fact she might even try to you know dip into some office work just to help out to make sure everything is right. cool right right maybe I'm definitely tuning in to see this because I, I kind of think that you're giving me a little side story about that that we that we gonna see on TV. But uh, everybody's gonna look, tell 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 the people when they can see this stuff, where they can find it, and I know they can find you guys on all your social media. Oh wait wait wait! Before we go, 
I gotta talk because we're shooting in Northridge. I just heard a story about the Northridge quake. Like somebody ran into you mm. right after, right out here in Northridge. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Well, my sister actually lived right out in Northridge. The apartment building that she lived in completely collapsed on top of the the parking structure, so all the cars were flattened and whatnot. Wow. Yeah. And I lived in Sherman Oaks at the time. I was scared. Mm. And I was young. I was praying. It was dark. It was awful. It was awful. Man. Yeah, so hopefully we won't have a repeat of none of that. Gee uh, whiz. San Andreas is just a movie. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to see it. That's like a, a, <laughs> I know. A reality horror flick there, yeah, a snuff film. No, the preview it, was enough. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I remember that. That's it from Family Time. Y'all stay tuned. Tune in. Bounce TV, Family Time, Black Tree TV.